Hi everyone, so I'm here to do my what's in the baby's hospital bag. Um, a lot of people have requested this and I found it really helpful actually watching other people's when I was packing mine because I completely forgot what I took when I was pregnant with Sienna. Um, I have got the car seat and everything to show you as well because obviously that's for the baby that you need to take so don't forget that. I have overpacked, I always overpack, I like to be prepared for any event that might happen. Um, so I have got quite a big bag for baby. So this is the bag I'm taking, it's actually my Bystream changing bag which I absolutely love. Um, I've done a review on it so I'll link it down below. As you can see it is so so big um, and it's got two sort of sides. So I've kind of separated it into clothes in one side and then like products in another side. So I will get started and show you what is in them. So I'll start off on the side with the products in. And obviously most importantly we have some nappies. I've just got a small pack of Pampers. We used Pampers when Sienna was tiny and we had no problems with them. We found them really good. We did find they leaked as she got older so we actually swatched swapped to the Aldi ones but when she was a newborn these are really good so we've just gone with these again so um, yeah tiny baby nappies this is a pack of 23 I might pick up another one but I'm hoping I won't be in the hospital that long as this is my second and my first was quite straightforward I was only in there one night I'm hoping to not be in there too long so um, yeah nappies We are also taking water wipes. I know that you're normally told to use cotton warm water, but these water wipes are just as good. They are pretty much just water themselves. They are 99% water and 0.1% fruit extract. So they're completely chemical alcohol free, so they are suitable for newborns and you can use them straight away. So I've got two packs of those to sort of clean baby. I just find them much easier than cotton wool and water. And like I said, they are 100% safe for newborns as well. And they have won loads of different awards, it looks like. Um, they're an allergy friendly product, they've won a Love by Parents award, Infants awards and a parent tested, parent approved award. Um, so yeah, they're just a lot more convenient. We are also taking some soothers just in case. I am going to try and breastfeed but we did use a dummy with Sienna and we found it really really helpful. Um, so I've just got these just in case. These are the mum ones. Um, and I don't know if you can see, I really loved these ones because it's got a little cloud design on which if you have watched my previous videos you know that I've been loving the cloud theme. Um, so yeah, we've got the mum ones because they are um, orthodontically correct. They also come in this little steriliser and travel box which is really really handy. BPA free um, and yeah, these are the zero to two months ones so yeah we've got those as well just in case we are also taking the grow company grow snug um, this is just like a little sleeping bag with a zip all the way around you can have their arms in or out depending on what they like sienna liked to have her arms out she didn't like being swaddled completely but she slept really well in a sleeping bag so we are taking this just in case I'm really finding it hard to settle baby or something. We will try the Grow Snug. And then we have also got muslin cloths and a swaddle. These are so, so cute. I was really kindly sent these by a company called Ollie and Belle. And they sent me a swaddle in case baby does like being swaddled. Um, so yeah, that's the company Ollie and Bell really soft muslins um, when they came they did look a bit flat but I read on the instructions that if you wash them and dry them they double in size and they definitely have done they're really soft and really you know good weight muslins now um, so this is the swaddle and I absolutely love it it's a perfect size but can you see the print is like lolly prints I absolutely love it um, so just like ice lollies on there which is just so adorable 
Um, so if she does like swaddling, I will swaddle her with this and she'll look all cute and pretty. And then we will also scent some of the muslins as well, so they do different um, designs. So we got this one, which is like little houses and hearts, really, really cute and really nice colours as well. I love that the green and the blue is, is in there and it's not just all pink. And then we were also sent this really cute elephant one. Again, it's got pink elephants, but it's also got green and blue, so it's really, really cute. So that's for just like when I'm breastfeeding, just for covering up or for, you know, if she um, dribbles milk or something, just to tuck under her chin while I'm feeding her. And um, the lovely lady from Ollie and Belle did also send me the other prints because she does have six different prints. So she sent me the other three. These are not going in my hospital bag because I'm only taking two. Um, but they're equally as cute and some of these are a little bit more um, unisex or sort of boy theme so there's this one which has just got little blue snails all over it which is really really cute and then there's a really cute dinosaur one as well which is so cute so it's got like the mustard dinosaur blue dinosaurs and sort of red dinosaurs um, so that's cute and then this one's quite cute it's still quite girly as well um, or more unisex I suppose it's like blue pears with stars on and a little green stem so yeah those muslins are really really cute and if you like any of those designs and fancy getting them yourself I'll leave her link down below for you that's everything in the sort of product side and now I will get on to what clothes I'm taking for her so first things first we've got this super super adorable um, little cream cardigan and this is by Nature's Purist, um, which are an organic, really pure brand. And they do mainly sort of unisex things. So everything is creams and whites, which I really liked this time. I really like the neutral with a hint of pink or purple. I don't want everything girly. Um, so when I found this brand, I just thought they were absolutely perfect. And also I'm loving cable knit at the moment, blankets, cardigans, hats, anything. Um, so this little cardigan was absolutely perfect. Um, it looks like this, it's just got buttons down the front, it's got the little cable knit detail, long sleeves. And then the cutest thing about it is the little hood. Um, so it has a little hood, but it's got like a floppy... Um, it's got like a floppy bit on the back with a big pom-pom um, so that just kind of hangs at the back of the head and looks really cute but I just thought that was so so adorable so I'm taking that to put over some of her baby grows to keep her nice and warm because obviously it is the middle of winter I'm also taking two more cardigans these are just ones that Sienna had when she was the baby um, so they're just white ones so there's just that one and this one, just like a knitted one. Um, Sienna was a very, very sicky baby, so I have kind of overpacked on the clothes. But um, if this baby is as sick as Sienna, we will definitely need them. So that's kind of like three cardigan slash jackets. Um, I've then got her some hats. As I said, I'm loving the sort of like knitted and cable knit at the moment. And I found this pack of two hats from Next. Um, so I got these. It's like a little cream hat with a little scalloped detail on the end and a little bow on the front. So I thought that was really cute. And then it came with a pink one as well, which is just like a little knitted print. And it has a little flower on the top. Um, I just thought they were so cute so I got those and then I also got a pack I think it was three but I'm only taking two of just their regular cotton hats so they've just got the little knots at the top this one is just like a pink marl effect and this one is just like a white with a pink polka dot so that's hats for her obviously these ones are for in the hospital these ones are for when we go outside and sort of bring her home in her car seat. 
I've then got vests, so I've got how many? One, two, three. I've got five vests. Um, I might stick a few more in because I just don't know how sicky or poopy she's going to be, but I suppose we could always just run out and buy some more. Um, but I've got five there at the moment. And then baby grows. I have overpacked on the baby grows again but like I said Sienna went through quite a lot because she was so sicky um, so I've got the mamas and papas ballet shoes one that I've shown in a haul before um, this really really cute angel wing one from Marie Chantal it's just like a cream velour little sleep suit but it's got gold um, angel wings on the back so so adorable I can't wait to see her in that that might be the first outfit we put on her. I've got this little outfit from Matalan, which is the first outfit we bought when we found out it was a girl. So it's like a baby grow. This is like a attached, um, so it looks like it's separate, but it's not. I've then just got the stripy one from Mamas and Papas, just the dusky pink and white stripes. And then the other ballet shoe one as well. So I got that whole pack of three and then her going home outfit we have decided is this little cute mamas and papas birdie one um, I have shown it in a haul but I'll just show it again so that will be her sort of coming home outfit I think then also got the little headband to match the Matalan outfit I don't know if this will be too big or if she'll wear it um, but I'm taking it anyway just in case and then I've just got two pairs of socks um, because most of her baby grows have feet on obviously and they have the scratch mitts built in as well so I didn't need scratch mitts sort of separately. And that is the bag empty so that is everything I'm taking in my hospital bag but obviously we are taking the car seat as well so I have her little um, jacket or coat this was Sienna's I think when she was a baby um, I found it when I went through all the stuff so it's just like a little knitted padded jacket um, and it's got the purples and the yellows and the greens in there so I just love it and I thought it would be an ideal sort of little jacket to come home in and then obviously we're taking a blanket for the car seat to put over this is the one I got from TK Maxx um, so it's like pink and white cable knit on one side and then it's like the faux fur sheepskin stuff on the other side um, so we're taking that as well um, and then we've just got her little toy that we got from mother care little chime toy and then I don't know if you can see this I've just got this little lullaby thing on I got this from TK Maxx as well um, I've just put that on the car seat already um, and then the actual car seat we went for was the Maxi Cozy Cabrio Fix and I went for this because everyone basically recommended that we get a Maxi Cozy and the Cabrio Fix comes with a base that you can use um, I think it's called the Family Easy Base or something um, I'm not sure, I'll link it down below if you want to know so the car seat will still click on and on the car seat will still click on and off the base like an isofix but it's not an isofix because my car doesn't have isofix um, so yeah I think that is right I hope that is right anyway um, I was completely mind boggled when it came to car seats um, but Maxi Cozy seemed to be really good safe you know well respected brand so I felt really confident going with Maxi Cozy and I'm really glad we got the base as well because hopefully it's going to just make life a little bit easier rather than strapping seats in with the seat belts um, so yeah that is everything that we are taking to a hospital for our little baby I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful I will be doing my hospital bag next week so stay tuned for that and I'll see you then Thanks for watching guys, bye!